Yeah, I'm um, blind again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Anderson's TV. It has been too long since we've had our friend Rob Chapman sitting in a blindfold with no idea what's going on around him. I like nothing more than to have my senses gradually removed by my friend Lee while so, I guess things. Here we are with uh, some epic kind of music. We are about to enter into the realms of Guess, the signature guitar with a blindfold on. So, I shall mask up. I've got to come near you, Rob, here. Okay. Uh, so Can you make sure that you, you gel every inch of your being? Here we go. We have a plectrum, which I am now gelling. Here we are. And I shall gel my hands, and Rob, gel your hands as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a pick in there? No, there is. Uh, I have a pick oh, here. Oh, mate. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah, get it in there. Hand out, and there's a sloppy pick. Oh, mate. Um, right. We're going to have to wait just a few seconds for this... Uh, the alcohol to dry on well, it. Well, okay. I'm getting high. So you have five guitars here, Rob. Five? I can tell you... Estrada. All five... Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm okay to not have my mask on when I'm sitting over here. Uh, I can tell you that all five are guitar players that you both are familiar with, and like very much. I thought for a second you were talking to me in, in, in the multi-person, like there were two of me. No. Nope. That you both like. So um, I'm going to go, for no reason, I'm going to go from this side to this side. Um, so uh, all you people watching on screen, uh, well, you know what this is, no point you playing along, is there? So here we are with guitar numero uno. Uh, there you are, sir. Got it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Right, we are going through your. Oh, wait, new... wait, hold on. What are the rules? What can I? What can I? Touch you can touch on? anything you like. I okay. don't know that there's anything that'll give away um, anything about what the guitar is for sure. Uh, so you can touch whatever you like. Uh, I've done my best to tune them, um, and uh, yeah, you can. And it's plugged in, yeah. It is. You've got your new adopted favourite amplifier in the Sheriff uh, 22 the and a tube screamer on the floor. Um, so if I take the tuner off, you should have some... Oh, it's got a, a wiggly. It's got a wiggly. <laughs> and you're allowed one clue per guitar about the artist. And I'll try and make something up on the spot. Oh. Okay, I was not... Oh. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. That's not what we wanted to hear. Come on, we need, first of all, we just need your general thoughts on okay, well, how the guitar look. feels and sounds. So, okay, it's pointy. It's, uh, it's an S, it's an S type. It, I mean, it feels lovely. It feels expensive. It's heavy. Uh, it, it's, it feels like a neck, a neck through. Um, if I had to guess the brand, I would say this is, like an ESP or um, something like an ESP. This could be really bad. This could just go so wrong. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> Do uh, I make this? You, <laughs> you, it's all good. You you have to. Oh, no, I, okay, so there's right. Uh, there there are no Chapman guitars on display. There's, okay. there's no kind of curveball here. But for but you. this this is from an artist that I like. Yes. Uh, can I smell it? Uh, yes. Is that, I'm just going to smell. Um, like smell is alcohol. <laughs> 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 I reckon it's ESP, and um, the only artist I can think of that I, I, I have always admired that plays ESP is probably like Metallica. So it maybe it's um, I don't know, maybe 
uh, James Hatfield has a new thing out, or um, it's the only thing I can think of, unless um, no, no, it would have to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think of anyone else that that, that I I, mean, I really like from the ESP roster who who might bring something out, and I'm actually not up to date with with who's bringing what out. So I'm going to say it's an ESP, and I'm going to say it's um, James Hatfield. Fine. Well, I, you didn't even ask for a clue. Oh, um, I didn't know so, I could have a clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so clues, I, I'm, go, I'm literally trying to think up stupid things. I, I need to make it kind of cryptic. Like, um, what would be a good cryptic clue for this one? So if, um, I don't know if this guitar player. It's thick. Um, it's a really thick guitar. Let's, um, if this guitar player, I'm going to give it all away here with this one, was maybe the captain of a spaceship or something like that. I don't know. I'm just coming up with names. I don't captain know. Captain of a spaceship? I don't know. I don't know. It could be a clue. It might not be a clue. But let, you know what? Give me the guitar back because it is. Oh, are you going to. Jean Luc Picard. Oh, that's the one! The Jean Luc Picard signature <laughs> guitar. How did you guess? But, um. Oh, what? you're kind of. You're sort of. Let's just say you're on the right spaceship. Uh, right. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, may the force be with you, viewers. And I hope you forgive me for, for not. Um... It's fine for Look, not knowing it's who It's fine. This... Look, you know what? This is half the fun. I'm oh. taking it back. I'm taking it back. Uh, I'm applying the tuner, and you guys but know what, what has the Enterprise got to do? With Guitar number two is coming in. It's turned up. Go. The tube screamer is um, already on. Oh, yeah. So let's just. <laughs> I mean, I know the neck. Uh, if that's not a like a, um, a Charvel neck, then I'm a different person. Uh, Okay. If you want to tune it, I would suggest you no, use the micro tuners uh, <laughs> on, on the trim. Just what it is. It's a, it's, it's a Charvel bolt-on. Uh, okay, uh, Steel Panther. <laughs> Can I have the Cheap Screamer? That is with the tube screamer on. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh man, it's a bit underpowered, isn't it? Or maybe we got the um, we set the amp underpowered. Does this? It does. Okay. Can I have a little bit more gain at the amp then? Uh, I can just put a bit more gain from the pedal on. Oh, okay. Go on, try it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a strange one because the neck feels really nice. The pickups for me are a little bit bright and underpowered, um, and it's very basic. It's just one control, but then if you're as good as Satchel, what you need is one control. Um, so I'm going to say it's Russ Parrish from that one of. Well, yet again, you've not even asked for a clue. Oh, what's the clue? <laughs> um. Oh, I, to be honest with you, if I was going to, uh, if I was going to find somewhere to store all of this guitar player's albums, I'd put them in my school bag. So it's such a satchel from me. <laughs> <laughs> worst, worst clue ever. Worst clue ever. So I got I'm that, sorry I got that right. I got one. I got uh, one. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's Ooh. just put the tube screamer back down it's again. It's a nasty Here neck. we go with another guitar. Oh. Sounds great. Screamer. 
Such a low action, it's insane. <laughs> It's a peer. It's a peer. <laughs> now, in fairness, as soon as uh, I must admit, when I saw this one on the list, it was like, if he feels the holes, then uh, that's peer. the giveaway. Was there anything about the guitar that led you to think that might what it would be or uh, might uh, have been nothing it? to do with the the holes? No. Um, okay, I have to be honest and say that I am talking to Motti at Ibanez, and, and they're going to send me one. So I'm familiar with the setup of the guitar. I have never played one. The first thing that I thought was, wow, this neck's really nice. And then I thought, wow, the action's really too low. That's kind of an Ibanez thing. They tend to set things up really, really super low. Pickups, dead giveaway that they're Damasio. And I was thinking, the only brand that, that does Damasio's and a wizard thin neck pretty much uh, with any signature artists is Ibanez. So I was on the Ibanez vibe. And then as soon as my fingers fell I into know, this hole. I know, I saw it. Wow. It <laughs> well, that, I, I, I was like, it has to be was, up here. For about five, two minutes of that thing, I was thinking, oh, he's not going to touch the hole. Maybe I he probably won't get wouldn't it, have. But, no, but, but there I just, you are. When I was just you just at, felt them, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but right. Well, okay. Uh, that great was, guitar. That was the one that was. Who knows? And I'm glad you didn't ask for a clue because I couldn't think no. of one. No, uh, so. uh, but I don't know what colour. So, uh, and it comes in three. It comes in green, which I'm, I'm very hoping that Motti sends me. It comes in gold, which is also beautiful, and it comes in white. And pink, I believe. A pink as well. Yeah, and I've got a feeling that everything other than the white is limited edition and all sold out. Yes. Um, so that one's white then? Yes. <laughs> right, oh. have another guitar. Um, you got it? Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, you have a shred whilst I try and think of a clue. <laughs> I've never heard these pickups before. This is, uh, what? <laughs> what is? <laughs> this is weird. Okay, I, I, I am. Um... Ow. <laughs> Injuring myself. Okay. <laughs> Pickups are great. It's it's really um, got a lot of definition in the low end. Um. Yeah, I really like this. I'm not. I'm confused though. It, it, it feels like a fairly affordable tremolo, but the guitar feels quite expensive. Um, I mean, this really could be anything at all to me at the moment. It feels like a set through. Uh, Do you want a clue? Yes, give me a clue and I'm going to smell it. Okay. So uh, when this guitarist is in his band, he likes it hot and drafty. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what? I can't think of another. I can't. I can't think of any way to give you a clue that that. 
Hot describes his name. I can only think of a clue that describes his band. Hot and drafty. <laughs> <laughs> Something wind. Is is this a is this a washburn? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not I, honestly. My lips are sealed. You've but got maybe the clue. Through, maybe through the syntax and tone of voice, I can determine you, what you, it you've is. You've got the clue. Hot and, and drafty. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't feel like. What sh- brand do you think it is? Well, I thought it was a, uh, a washburn. I was thinking it might be Nuno. What did I just hit? Did I hit something? Uh, the last guitar. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't really a hit. I, I didn't it was know more it was of a gentle brush. Um, but the body doesn't feel like a washburn, and it's, it's heavy. It feels more like... Um, more like a fender uh, in, in the way that it's... The timber feels more like a fender. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's a weird thing to say, but it feels like a fender. I don't know. Right. Uh, well, I mean... But somebody that I like... I mean, you absolutely like him very much. Oh, God. Both so it's, as a player. So, so oh, it's, yeah, him or her, sorry. Both as a player and as a human. Oh, right. So it's either someone like Joe Satriani, Marty Friedman. Um, and this Come isn't on, an Ibanez. Think of the clue. So this, so this, when he's in his band, it's hot and drafty. Just put me out of my misery. I've got the band right, haven't I, Pete? Yes. Yeah, I've definitely got the band right. It's me thinking here that the clue's rubbish because that's not the name of the band, but I've got oh, I've got it right. Yeah. I, I, I don't get it. Move on. Move okay. on. Right then. Ah. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. No, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not very good. You, uh, you were kind of... There was a couple of things you said that were like, sort like, of... Did I say his name when no, I said no, Joe? No, Sa- no, no. The, 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 right, last guitar. Last guitar. Okay. Is it turned up? Right, it's all turned up. Um... Tube screen is still on, and uh, there we go. Wait, 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 let me orient. Okay. I've totally forgotten to put my mask on when I've been passing you guitars as well. I apologize, world. Okay. Nice to play. Really nice neck. Um, it's a bolt. It's a traditional bolt-on. Feels like it's a music man neck. So is this some kind of affordable Prochucci? Prochucci. Prochucci like Gucci, he told me. So I'm going to say maybe it is a... Do you want a clue? I, I do. Oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> that, wait, wait, wait. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, it is a music man. Uh, is it a Jared Dines? I, I'm not... You, I can give you a clue. Is it Papa Dines? I can is give, it my all, I can, all I can do is give you a clue, and then okay. you have to guess the artist. Give, give, give me. Okay. Give me. Uh, right. I've thought of an angle for the clue. I just haven't thought of the actual wording for the clue. So, I would say this guitar player. Uh, this guitar player. I mean, he's, he is one of my favourite guitar players in the universe. But this guitar player definitely feels the force <laughs> when he's playing guitar. <laughs> Some Steve, uh, Steve Lukather. <laughs> it's Lukather, isn't it? Good on. <laughs> he, has um, a, he has a great taste in necks. Okay, look, so I'm not going to let you take your blindfold off just yet. So I'm going to tell you that... Thanks. Guitar number one... Yes. 
Uh, you uh, you said it was an ESP. You thought it was from the band Metallica. <sighs> and so you thought then it was James Hetfield. And I gave you a clue to do with being the captain of a spaceship. Right. I've got to tell you, you're so close. Oh, and I think the, the clue is such a giveaway. You're going to so kick yourself when I tell you who this is. So come on, last chance. Think it- of famous captains of spaceships from your favourite TV series. You're so close. I don't know what else I can say to him. Everybody at home is screaming the answer at you. But I... I, And think, and like, I'm just going to tell you, like, two-thirds of your answer is correct. Well, like, Kirk Hammett, then. Because, obviously, Captain Kirk... It's Kirk Hammett, isn't it? Okay. So... I thought it was too obvious. I I thought you were going to be much harder. uh, The second one you got... So not Kirk Picard. The second one was right. It was Satchel. The third one was right. You got the Pia uh, Steve Vai. The fifth one you got right was the... What? The fourth one... You, I, I just, I'm going to give you a little bit more of a clue. So, you, you mentioned, you said it might be a wash burn. It's not a wash burn. Uh, you said it was Fendery, which it absolutely is, although it's not a Fender brand. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, it's, so it, in that case, it has to be a Jackson. Okay. So, right. Well, is we, it we Marty get, Friedman? And your clue is... When he's in his band, he likes it hot and drafty. And you even said wind, which is like 50% of the way there. So come on. You got Firewind. So- it's Gus. Hey! hey! Sorry, so bro. Look, Sorry, man. A, you can be blindfold now. Gus, I apologise. So oh. with a bit of assistance and some dodgy clues. Oh, my God. Oh, you, and your glasses are on the table. Did I say nice things about Gus's guitar? Uh... I, you, you were talking about the pickups being you'd never tried them before and they were really, really good. And I thought that was really perceptive and interesting because um, they are Gus's new signature I have pickups. something uh, very interesting to tell well, you about he, that after the camera. Well, he, oh, he no, told you? He told me that oh, when okay. you were talking to him, he... Anyway, look, so I know yeah. that I think you gave him a steer in terms of the factory he, to Well, he met me for a coffee and said, listen, Rob, yeah. you know about making things. I'm thinking about making pickups. Yeah. And I said, oh, I know a lot of companies that do that. I'll help you. We had a coffee and a lunch, and then I, st- I put him in the direction of so a company that yeah, makes great so what, pickups. What do you call it? These Blackfire, aren't they? Yes. So Blackfire pickups. And they um, sound unique. Kind that's of, really good. You, you, you got the Charvel neck straight oh, away, look at that, which is interesting. Boy. Yeah. The Charvel, in fact, this is the guitar that uh, Satchel signed when I met Ooh. him earlier this year or last year, whenever it was. Um, the Ouija. That's a wicked looking guitar, isn't it? My, Limited edition yeah. purple My wife flake. wouldn't let me play that. That's not um, in So there Beautiful. you go. And you were, uh, and congratulations to Jared on his new Music Man, but that wasn't it. That was Steve <sighs> Lukather's Luke uh, 3. Right. Um, have you, did you see that Instagram thing of what happened when Steve Lukather's neighbours woke him up early one morning or the builders in? You no. Thought, oh man. Was it good? Only that, it's the coolest thing ever. So the builders in his next door neighbor's garden woke him up at seven o'clock in the morning. So to get his revenge the following day, he sets up his like his rig, what master stack in his <laughs> garden, and like literally shreds at seven o'clock in the morning, and then shouts profanities at his next door neighbors. Anyway, look there you are. I like you know right. what you're so good at these blindfold challenges. I that well, was the only one that I thought. Yeah, to, be, really... to be totally honest with you, we had Anita Strauss lined up, right, and literally. Half an hour before the video started, it got sold, and this was this was the uh, the kind of the, the the fifth choice replacement, and it right. was a bit like oh, it'll be so obvious what it is. But everything else I thought was quite tricky to guess. Maybe the music man I thought you might get. I no. definitely didn't think you'd get. I definitely didn't think you'd get that one. And in fairness, I I knew you probably the Gus one would be tricky because that's not. I played the prototype of this. Yeah, that's not not. I mean, Gus is normally you see him with his star shaped guitar, and, everything, yeah. and this is a relatively recent thing for him. But uh, so probably anyway. probably the right time to say that Gus and I are doing a little a little project together, and it's uh, will be released. That was why I was so something. keen for you to get it because I thought of all yeah. the, of all the ones to like not get, it'd be most embarrassing if you yeah. didn't get the Gus one. Anyway, there great. You go. Thank you for for taking my sight away and letting me play, you know, five different beautiful things. Did you have a favourite? I should have asked you with your blindfold on, then you wouldn't have known, but did well, you have a favourite? I really liked the sound of those pickups. Yeah. I, I genuinely thought it sounded very different, very new, very open. Yeah. And I loved the feel of that, which, um, which just I'd surprised me. I'd have the end too, just because I mean, I'm not a big looks Floyd fan. stunning, but, uh, doesn't it? Yeah. You know? um, yeah, I think they're all good. Well, there you are. Blindfolds, it's the, it's the future. Next time, you, sh- you should take my ears away as well. Yes, and your hands. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just, by, t- just tap on my knee when I go Some sort of bizarre dolphin like sonar, you've got to guess. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll catch you later. See Bye. you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.